Hello, hello, my fabulous creative women. Talina Bacon here, business coach and craft show expert. I wanted to come in and share a few tips with you today to help you get more organized and keep inventory flowing during your craft show season. Hope everyone is doing well. Today's Thursday. One more day. We got the weekend. I wanted to first say Happy Mother's Day to all you wonderful mothers out there and all you mothers-to-be. Many, 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 many more Happy Mother's Days to you. I wanted to wait a few minutes before I start to see if anyone's going to come in. I'm trying to do these live videos at least maybe two, three times a day to give you tips and thoughts while doing your craft show. So I'm going to wait a few more seconds and to see if anyone's going to come in. If you come in, I do appreciate you coming in. Just leave the comments below. And I thank you for joining in. I'm going to start the tips right now. So these are nine tips for keeping inventory during the craft show season. Number one, if you create primitive and country dolls like those, those are my candy jars. Or if you do clothing, you want to make sure you have enough material for the season. Material goes real quick. So make sure you have enough material to create your next project. Number two, when you're purchasing material, where do you keep your sales receipts? Because you know each year the tax man comes knocking on the door to collect your money. So where do you keep your sales receipts? I would suggest maybe buying a sales receipt booklet with pockets to keep your receipts in. Because you would rather have a book that's nice and neat with pockets than to have your receipts in a bag like this. <laughs> These are the old receipts. I know I should be putting them organized. They're from 2010, 2011. But I'm going to now organize them because I know for tax season, you're supposed to keep your receipts maybe 7 to 10 years. Not quite sure, but I'm keeping my receipts just in case so the tax man don't come take any more of my money. So, number three. If you're paint, if you're an artist and you use paint, check your paint. Make sure that it's still in good condition. Make sure it's not, it hasn't hardened. And we have to throw it out and buy more. So make sure you have to paint if you're an artist, if you paint. I paint myself. So I noticed that if I don't check my paints, they do harden up and I have to throw them out. Then go to the store and buy more. So make sure your paints are, you know, fresh. And if you need to re-up on it and get more, get it now while they're on sale. Number four, muslin. Ladies, if you create anything, you don't know what muslin is, let me show you. It's a type of material that looks like this. Usually at Joann's, um, you get it for $1.99, but if you have a coupon, it's 50% off. It's a dollar a yard. We use this a lot, and I use the muslin to create my bunnies. And I also use it for my, all my other creations, like my Raggedy Ann candy jar and a bunch of other different dolls and I use muslin a lot. So check Joann's, check your email for any coupons that you might come along to get plenty of muslin because that does go quick when we're creating new crafts. Now see what we did, one, two, three, four, number five, spring shows. I know you probably think, oh no, the spring shows just about over. Spring shows for 2018. Some event managements, they do usually get the applications going now. So it's best to check to see if they have the applications for 2018 so you can get a head start to find out the fees, um, you know, what, what are their rules and regulations. It's good to find out now in 2018. You can check on eventlister.com for any upcoming shows, and that will get you on the ball for 2018. Number six, if you would, like you men, if you cut like furniture and if you can clocks or if you use wood for anything, you can always check for Home Depot or the lumber yard. Sometimes Home Depot has wood in the bag that they're getting rid of. You can always go, go back to them and ask them if they, you know, if they're not using the wood, can I have it? And, you know, they'll be more than happy to give it to you or they may charge you a small fee. Now it's time to, to stock up on any wood pieces that you wouldn't need. Because sometimes, you, if you need a certain type of wood, they may not have it. So start checking Home Depot, the lumber yard, any place that sells wood. Um, 
even Lowe's. Lowe's might have wood too. So they have Lowe's in the back. I like Home Depot because they're a little bit cheaper than Lowe's. Sometimes they have a sale. Number seven, candle makers. All you candle makers out there, the holiday season will be coming up. Make sure you got plenty of candle wax, candlesticks, the wicks, everything that you need to make your candles. Um, I know sometimes they have candle wax at Michael's or AC Moore. Depends if you use that type of candle wax. You can also get your candle wax online at bittercreek.com. Um, if you need to know the, the links, I can put them below and you can follow them and get to your, your candle wax and stuff that you need to make your candles. I know I need to get some because I make cinnamon bun candles for the fall. So I know I have to get more candle wax. Number eight, the candle scents. That's the candle scent that goes inside the candle to make it smell good. Make sure you got plenty of that cinnamon bun, orange grove, any scent that you use to make your candle. Make sure you got plenty of it because I know sometimes that's hard to find. So make sure you have plenty of candle scents. Number nine, last one, your Christmas material. They always have Christmas in July at Joann's. Get your Christmas material now because come November or when you get ready to start doing your shows, you may run out of that material. So I would suggest get it now. When you do the Christmas in July, keep on the lookout for it. When they start having the sale, get your coupons. And make sure you get your Christmas material right now for the fall season and Christmas season. Well, that's your nine tips. I'm going to go over them real quick for you. Number one, if you need any material, check your, in, your totes. I keep my material in a big, gigantic tote. Check your material. Make sure you have enough material to start your next project. Two, get a sales receipt book for all your receipts. Remember, so your receipts don't be stuck in a little envelope and all crumbled up like me. I got to get to that. <laughs> That's a mess. Number three, your paint. If you're painting, make sure your paint is nice and fresh and hasn't hardened up. Number four, your muslin. Remember the muslin you get for your creations. Make sure you got plenty of muslin. Number five, sign up for the spring shows for 2018 to get ahead of the game. Number six, if you cut furniture or shelves, you need wood, Home Depot, Lowe's, Lumberyard, get your wood now. Eight, no, seven, candle makers, your candle wax. Eight, your candle scent that goes in your candle wax. And number nine, your Christmas material. Well, that's all the tips for today for the inventory for your upcoming craft shows. I'm Talina Bacon, business coach and craft show expert. Right now, I'm accepting two, 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 two open, open calls for anyone who's interested in learning more about running their craft business. I have two complimentary calls open. They're available to complimentary, absolutely free. We can talk over some teas, coffee. You know, just chit-chat a little bit about where you are with your business and where you're going with your business. You can reach me on my website at craftingintobusiness.com. You can message me as well. I thank you for stopping in and have a wonderful day.